Hey guys, it's late at night and this is the only lighting I can really offer you, so. Uh, I wanted to make this quick video though about power. I don't ever want you to be afraid to be powerful. And there's such a difference between control and shittiness and power. Power and control are are pretty much the polar opposite of each other because power is really this allowing and this flowing and this being the fullness of who you are whereas control is very constricted and one-dimensional and just kind of useless but um being powerful feels a little scary sometimes because I think we have a negative concept um, about it. I think we have this idea that being powerful is not good, that tyrants are powerful, that this and that. And the truth is, when we as individuals decide to be powerful, which means having a lot of self-love so we're not leeching off other people for it or depending on other people for it, um, it means speaking our truth from our authentic heart. <sighs> it means moving forward in the world fearlessly. It means doing what we came down here to do. Being powerful is all these really, really beautiful things. And it, it means not really placating to people anymore. Not really um, allowing them or supporting them in their fears anymore. You know, sometimes we dumb ourselves down or squish ourselves down for people to help them be more comfortable and it's not about that anymore especially especially for you um I don't want to say light workers because everybody is you know everybody's energy workers and it's, I don't really I don't really vibe with the whole light being thing I think we're all light and dark and contrast and beauty and we're moving forward and evolving our world right now. But we need to be authentic and we need to move forward with that authenticity and project it out into the world. And you know what it feels like when you're authentic. It feels flowing, it feels real, it feels pretty solid. And the more you practice being there, the more solid it feels. It feels it feels really free. It feels really free. And you are going to receive some conflict. You're going to receive some adverse reactions to you being your authentic self. And not putting up with people's bullshit or fakeness anymore. But that's okay. And some of us are put here for this more than others. We're put here to shake things up and maybe agitate people a little bit by not really being very sympathetic to the mask that they've put on, you know, to the lies that they're telling themselves. And they're so caught up in their mask and their lies, sometimes they don't even realize that they're there, that it's, it's all, it's all not really real anymore. But they've tricked themselves into thinking it is, and by you being your authentic self, you're going to command that other people be the same. And that's, I think, the point I'm trying to get across. You're not really doing anyone any favors by dumbing yourself down or listening to all their BS all the time. You know, there's, there's something to say about friendship. And just being able to, like, shoot the shit with someone and complain. I think we're all going to do that sometimes. It just, it just feels good sometimes. But when someone has something chronic going on or they just consistently complain about something or just consistently complain about the world or they act like a victim to something, it's kind of time to stand up and remind them how powerful they are. And oftentimes we can do that by just not playing into their story of how bad things are. Of just holding solid in who we are, asking them questions, 
how do you want to change that? What do you want instead? You know, questions like that that get them thinking that remind them that, oh, they are powerful. Oh, they do have the say in their life. Because people forget it. They forget it or they don't want to be it. They don't want to be that powerful force because then they're more accountable. Because accountable is scary for people, apparently. <sighs> so I want to encourage you to be your authentic self. And don't squash yourself down for anyone. Because that, that's a form of um, manipulation when you're, you're trying to be a certain way so someone will like you or be comfortable around you. And it's just, we're not at that place in the world where that's even valuable anymore. It's time to rise up. Rise up in loving power. By listening, by loving, by being compassionate, but not playing into people's stories. People aren't stuck. People aren't hopeless. People aren't powerless. And it's time to remind each other of that. And, you know, we all need that reminder in different situations where we're learning to be more powerful. There's some situations where I feel ridiculously powerful and others where it's not so good. And I need that reminder too. So... Be powerful, be you, don't be anything else. <laughs>